As I said, she has long been one of the certifiable goddesses of Hollywood, how we have looked at her. But there is a new movie coming out which is going to transform your idea of what can be done on screen. It's called Monster, and Charlize Theron has an astonishing transformation in it. She's playing America's first female serial killer, Eileen Warnos, executed a little more than a year ago. Entertainment Weekly says, surest bet to grab an Oscar nomination. Hope we're not jinxing anything here. <laughs> Charlize Theron joins me tonight on Primetime, and she is here with us now. It's great to see you again. Nice to see you again. All right, we have to just start with the surface stuff because okay. it is so staggering. I'm ready. You, you gained 30 pounds. Yeah, around Krispy yeah. Kremes, <laughs> cereal Krispy Kremes, right? Yeah, just, yeah, anything, anything creamy, cheesy, bad for you. <laughs> you plucked all of your eyebrows out. And you also, I mean, your skin is just uh, unrecognizably ravaged in this. So I'm going to show everybody now how it happens. Here, first is the real Eileen Warnos. And watch what happens as Charlize Theron. No one would have believed it was possible. Becomes that woman. Mm. And as we have said, it's not just from the outside. It seems to be from the in side out as well. Did you think you had anything to lose by doing this and going this far? Did you hesitate at all? I, I, I guess I, I was at a place in my career where, you know, I was, I've, I've, I've been very happy with my career. I feel like I've been extremely blessed, but at the same time, I, I guess something inside me always felt like that I knew I was capable of a lot more, and it, it was extremely hard to find filmmakers or get filmmakers excited about me in a different way. I would let you do it. Now, you've talked about the fact that one of the main things about her mm -hmm. was that in this horrible childhood and this, in some ways, demented life, she never gave up hope of being somebody different. And that's mm -hmm. what you wanted to carry around. I want to show everybody first a small clip of her reacting in the courtroom. Okay to the sentencing against her, and she did get the death penalty. And then we're gonna go right to a clip of you in Monster. First, the real Eileen Morris. I knew I was raped, and you weren't nothing but a bunch of scum. Therefore, these proceedings are now Putting completed. Putting somebody who was raped right. to right. death? Thank you, Judge. And may you rot in hell, sending a rape woman to death. And you're all, you're a bunch of scum. Love conquers all. Every cloud has a silver lining. Faith can move mountains. Love will always find a way. Everything happens for a reason. Where there's life, there's hope. <sighs> Is there a lesson in that life? You know, I, I think that her life was so, I mean, for us, we all go through misfortune and, and unhappiness, and we struggle through life with the same things that she struggled, but on such a different level. And I think, you know, you have to kind of watch the entire movie to understand that cynical remark. But in her life, that was her reality. She had nothing else to hang on to but hope. And the great thing about her is that she never wanted people to feel sorry for her or kind of... Um, apologize for what she had done and and I you know I, I think that was great again I'm gonna go back to something irredeemably shallow <laughs> but you said your boyfriend liked you at that <clears throat> 30 pounds extra weight yeah it, it, the funny thing is everybody wants to know about that and it wasn't an issue at all it was the kind of thing that and I think also because I didn't really set out to get fat or anything like that it just everything happened so organically on this movie and so when it was happening he was really supportive and I think it was his way of kind of making me feel okay about it but yeah now he loved that everything was getting bigger you uh, and and again it's hard to believe because of your accent you have no accent but your first language is Afrikaans yeah do you still think ever in you're from South Africa do you ever still think in Afrikaans or is as you sit I, I and do, talk? and I, I um, 
My boyfriend actually told me two days ago that I was uh, talking in my sleep to him in Afrikaans. What did you... I, I was telling him to, to give me some room on the bed in Afrikaans. He wasn't quite <laughs> understanding that. Can you that. say it in Afrikaans for me? He might be keep black up your bed, skyfope, skyfope. So that was... Um, I, and I, not that it happens all the time, but, but I, I, I... You know, my mother lives in Los Angeles and I speak to her in Afrikaans and I think that's kind of kept it alive for me, so it's still very much a part of me. Well, uh, I want to give a quote as we leave you here. It's uh, the director of the movie who said that this isn't just a performance. This is a woman who understands both the light and the dark side of life. And tonight on Primetime, I want everyone to know that we're going to talk a little bit about you and a life which required unbelievable strength mm. and love. Mm. And we will hear more about your, your own life tonight mm. on Primetime. But the movie is Monster. It opens wide this week and 10 p.m. tonight on primetime. Charlie's there. Thanks for being Thank with us. Thank you. We'll be back. Charlie Rose coming up. Did I say Charlie Rose? Pete Rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie Gibson, Pete Rose. There. <laughs> That's next.